I watch rumors return and they keep pointing towards fitness. We got more leaks of the Samsung S Band and it's also a tracker. And we should be getting the first dual Windows Phone Android device very soon. I'm Jaime Rivera and since I got confused with the whole Thursday Friday thing yesterday, I'll just continue what I started yesterday and you should join me. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as Nokia has just launched their refocus application to pretty much all the Nokias that actually matter. And the reason why this is cool is because the refocus application brings that Lytro functionality which actually takes a couple of shots at the same time and then allows you to refocus to wherever you want. It's a really cool feature and hey, it's free for the Lumia so it's great. But even more interesting for those of you that were interested in Nokia Martini and all the rumors that we talked about a couple of weeks ago, it turns out that this apparently is the successor to the Lumia 920 which will be dubbed the Lumia 930, so stay tuned for that. It should be launched in the next couple of weeks. And speaking of Windows Phone, probably one of the coolest features of Windows Phone 8.1 is the ability to run on Android devices. And uh, we have one of the first OEMs committing to this in Q2 2014, which is just around the corner. We're talking about Huawei. The company plans to have their first handset running both operating systems in the next couple of weeks, and they find the cool and compelling reason to do so. For them, it's like if it only runs Windows Phone, it shouldn't be that important, but if it runs both things, it'll be an immediate sell. So uh, they got a good point. Now let's talk about Samsung as you all remember the patents of the Samsung S Band and as it turns out this is pretty much just a fitness tracker like a Fitbit. It doesn't work or do anything without a phone which is actually cool for those of you that use S Health. This is pretty much just a way to help S Health interpret things better on you which is great. It's a great feature. Let's just hope the price tag speaks the same way but then again we also have the Samsung CEO stating that there will not be a high-end Galaxy S5. What you see right now is what you get. The Galaxy S5 is the highest then model that they're making, which is really interesting as we are still waiting for that Galaxy J, I think it was, or F, or whatever the name would be. Let's see if Samsung does pull it off, because then again, they won't pull all their cards on the table, right? And speaking of fitness products, Apple has just patented a new type of pedometer for the iPod that runs on your wrist. And yes, there is no iPod that runs on your wrist. You all remember the last generation iPod Nano, which could be dubbed that way, but Apple never intended for it to be that way. So we are expecting for Apple to launch the iWatch with a pedometer and obviously have it be a fitness product. But then again, could it really be called the iWatch? Could it be that Apple's planning just to build another type of iPod that runs on your wrist? And that's how they're planning to brand it. Stay tuned as rumors will be coming very soon. And finally, for the very annoying news of the day, Facebook has just made it official that they're planning to milk the cow as much as they can when it comes to ads. Right now it's currently extremely annoying for you to get all these ads either on the website or on the mobile applications and now the company is planning to give you a video. And this video is actually going to play as you scroll so uh, let's hope they don't make it annoying. Let's hope that there's a way to mute that as you're scrolling because hey, they have a right to give us ads, they just don't have a right to make it annoying. But that leads me to the question of the day. What is your favorite social media service? Which is your preferred one? In my particular case, I'll be honest with you, I have everything, but to be honest with you, my favorite one is Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Uh, and honestly, the reason why I like Instagram is not necessarily for the filters, but because I could actually take a photo and share it from there to Tumblr and Twitter and Facebook at the same time. That's the real reason why I like it. But leave us a comment down below, which is your favorite one? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.